Hey guys, I'm here with the latest addition to the Azure line. This is the Azure condenser fan motor. This is a multi-horsepower 230 volt motor. It can be mounted shaft up or shaft down. But the real claim to fame here is the fact that this motor can run at 825 or 1075 RPM. It's field adjustable. There's no switches or dials to fool with. Let's take a closer look. When you open the box, you'll notice the motor has a three lead harness, L1, L2, and a ground. This motor connects directly to the contactor. There is no capacitor because this is an ECM motor. It's very easy to install. Next, you'll find an external surge protector in the box. And this will connect up to the harness like that after you run the harness through the conduit of the condensing unit. And these connections go to the contactor. The third and final item is the harness that's used to actually establish the rotation and speed of the motor. We're going to plug this motor into a 115 volt power source and let it cycle through four different iterations. Clockwise 825, counterclockwise 825, clockwise 1075, and counterclockwise 1075. To set the speed and rotation, we will connect the 115 volt harness to the motor. We don't need the surge protector at this point. And we will go ahead and plug this into a 115 volt source. And I promise you it will not hurt the motor. The motor is going to begin to cycle through four different iterations. Right now it's going at 1075 RPM. Well, actually this is not 1075 RPM. This speed represents 1075 RPM because it's the faster of the two speeds that we will see here. So right now the motor is telling me that it's in clockwise 1075 RPM mode. And now it stopped because I didn't select that mode of operation. It's going to go on to the second iteration and show us that iteration. That's going to be counterclockwise 1075 RPM. And if this still isn't what we want for the application, we will let the motor continue on to its third iteration. Now it's stopped and it will go on to the third iteration. And the motor is going to show us a slower speed now. It's giving us 825 RPM clockwise. And again, that's not actually 825 that you're looking at. That's a representation of 825 because it's clearly slower than the first two speeds that you saw. And if this isn't the speed that we want and rotation that we want, it will stop and give us our fourth and final choice. And this better be what we're looking for. Counterclockwise, 825. And that's exactly what we need for this application. So we'll go ahead and remove the 115 volt power. The motor will stop. And now the motor is programmed for 825 counterclockwise uh, rotation. And we can go ahead and install the motor. So after programming is complete, we will disconnect the 115 volt harness. Now each motor comes with its own 115 volt harness. We'll go ahead and install the motor, either shaft up or shaft down. There are rubber plugs on here, so if you mount the motor shaft down, you want to remove these two rubber plugs on, on this plate here. Run the harness through the conduit of the condensing unit and into the control box. Then you will attach the surge protector and then make the connections to ground and to the contactor. And that's all there is to it.